certain point. So mm -hmm. what do you suggest for those women to do? Tell me why they're getting discouraged. You know, like, um, they get to... I, the I got... I, go ahead. From experience, uh -huh. I went natural. Got it. And I cut everything off. Mm -hmm. And then I said, okay, what am I going to do? <laughs> How am I going to make this work? Because I'm so used to straight hair. Mm -hmm. So uh, I got discouraged because it's like... Honestly, I've been conditioned that that's not beautiful. Wow. And so when I looked in the mirror, I said, wait. And then when I step out, I don't get that many compliments because I'm natural. And so I immediately was like, you know what, I can't do this. So what I did was, um, similar to your hair, I, 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 got, I got some cornrows in my hair, and then I stitched in natural bigger hair. Mm -hmm. It was still natural mm -hmm. looking, mm -hmm. and I actually liked it. I liked it because it was just full and big. So you got to realize something. I wouldn't mind being natural if it wasn't like a Caesar. I literally cut everything off. So let me answer to that, okay? okay? So there are several factors involved in that. The number one factor, go to a person who the hell knows what they're doing with natural hair. Yeah. yeah. One. Yes, okay. okay? Yeah. One. Number two is you have to transition in your head for your hair. I didn't do it. Mm. You follow me? I didn't you were not fully transitioned, okay? Number three, mm -hmm. which is the most important thing, okay? Mm -hmm. When you do something, baby, you believe in it. Believing in yourself and loving yourself will make the rest of the world believe and love you. You understand? So it's about how you walk. It's about the aura that you give out with what you're wearing. You have to own it. But if you wear something and you look timid about it and you look like you hate it, that's how people will respond to you. Okay, you follow it. what I'm saying? So life is very psychological. And we really can run the world and rule the world by how we and what we've put out. So when you put out that I'm the shit and you can't tell me shit, that's how the rest of the world yeah. will be. And that's what you are missing. Yeah, I, I was missing it. I, 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 I agree with you. Cause I, you were mentally. I'm the no, shit. You can't tell me shit. Yeah. Like wake up and come back to you. You're the shit. I, mean, I guess that's the same thing. Like you're not. I like that. Until you're mentally liberated. Exactly. You know? Exactly. Right. It's, it's, right. Everything is up here, though. Yeah. Right. Everything is up here. Starts you know? in the mind. As a man, thank you. Come Absolutely. On. Yes. Feel okay. that. What? Next question. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Where are you from? I'm from Congo. Congo. Yes. How long have you been in the States? I've been in America. Um, in America, maybe about 10, 12 years, 10, 11 years. But I went to school. I started school in Zimbabwe. I was born in Congo. I started school in Zimbabwe. Um, then I finished my schooling in um, Montreal, Canada. Oh, wow. So you, you spent 